going to take the rigger and I'm putting it right into a lump of indigo. So the indigo is on the end of this brush and I'm literally going to draw. Now these examples are rather upright. I want them to lean a bit. So I'm starting at the bottom and I'm working my way up and just using the source photo to maybe make sure that I'm irregular with the way I paint my trees. The key thing is they need to be thicker at the trunk and the main branches than higher up. So I am trying to lift my the weight of the brush as I go along. And what happens when this tree is um, being painted is, of course, the water is still carrying the paint down the tree trunk and into the base. So actually, if you put quite a bit of water in and you tilt the page, it starts to plant the tree from you for you. So because the ground is wet, the um, running water from the tree trunk actually runs into the ground and then you don't get any trees perched on top of the ground which is a good thing. So as I'm drawing these in, trying to keep the elbows and angles gone into that cloud which isn't so much of a problem. So the area at the top of the tree is going to be quite well illuminated so I'm going to change colours in a second so that they're not so dark. So I'm actually using this specimen here trying to get it characterised because that's what this source photo is providing me with a clear character um, if I start to get a little bit lazy which humans we always like re repeated patterns I don't want re repetition these are already looking rather similar so what do I do well I'm going to give it a little pair a little partner this one so that it's more different just checking still that this first branch is thicker than the later branches. And then in the upper level of the tree, I even change colours. So I'm just cleaning the brush and I'm going to go in with this turquoise, which has a dual effect. It makes it more interesting. It sort of makes it look glowing, but also um, it adds colour which is always lovely and it's it's lighter so it'll look more um, thin at the top of the twigs so okay and so I'd carry on doing that for a while and um, ensuring that we've got a nice variety of shapes for trees maybe some of them have been broken off by lightning quite interesting maybe <laughs> and the, still the water is carrying the tree trunk into the ground and we can always oomph up the tree trunk with a little bit of ultramarine going in and that will still carry down the tree trunk into the base. So in a short video hopefully you've seen how you can apply dark paint on top of dry paint. Um,